All right, before we get to the werewolves, this is a solid cross promotion if I do say so myself. I want to thank the sponsor of this video. This video is brought to you by CrowdCow. CrowdCow is an online marketplace that ensures that you can get high quality meat and know exactly where your food's coming from. Just go on their website, shop for high quality beef, pork, chicken, seafood, and more. You can buy meat that's grass fed, pasture fed, or wild caught. Their meat has no growth hormones or unnecessary antibiotics. A completely unbeatable selection here. It's like a haven for my fellow carnivores and metasauruses. Each cut is vacuum sealed and frozen at the peak of freshness. So click the link below, go to crowdcow.com slash Jeremy, get $15 off your first order. You can also save an extra 5% off of everything when you become a member. Click the link below, membership is free. And thank you once again to CrowdCow for sponsoring this video, I do appreciate it. All right, we've talked about the cow, now let's talk about the wolves, the werewolves. <laughs> Stephen King's Silver Bullet. So Silver Bullet came out in 1985. It's a werewolf movie. It's a mystery movie. It's a mystery movie about who's the werewolf and it's very Stephen King. Also a movie that scared the living hell out of me. I saw this movie before I saw Jaws. I was a little kid. And it was the movie where I was like, okay, I'm sleeping under my covers for a month. I don't mean under my covers, like, you know, how people sleep under the covers. No, I mean, the covers are a magical force field that keeps the werewolf away and I sleep with my head under it, and now I gotta choose. Because oxygen depletion is a thing as you're breathing under the cover, so do I wanna poke my head out and take a breath and take a chance that I'm gonna come face to face with the werewolf, or do I just keep my head underneath? So I would do that thing where you just make a hole, you're like <sighs> For a solid month after watching Silver Bullet, scared me to death. For the characters in this movie, the ones I love, like Gary Busey as the uncle, he's the alcoholic, self-destructive, yet cool to his nephew and niece uncle. I mean, there's an arc with him. At a point, he stops drinking, and it's like his nephew going, hey, there's a werewolf out there, and he's like, all right, well, I'll help you out, I guess, if I kind of believe you, which I do kind of believe you. It causes him to stop drinking and being so self-destructive, but it's you gotta pay attention to it. It's not like anyone's like, hey, you stopped drinking, I'm really proud of you. So there's a solid arc with him, but he's also amazing as a cool uncle. He's just, he feels like the kind of uncle you wanna have as an uncle. He's really cool for his paraplegic nephew. He'll build him this rocket wheelchair that's completely not within code and will probably get the kid killed. And it's so easy to see Gary Busey as just the crazy guy. It's like, oh, it's crazy Gary Busey, but dude has a catalog of performances and roles in movies where He's a really good actor. I thought he crushes it as the uncle in Silver Bullet. Also the late Corey Haim in his youth, he's a paraplegic kid who starts to be like, wait a minute, I think there's a werewolf in this town. So he is the star of the show as true Stephen King's small town. And in that Stephen King way, this movie really does concentrate on the small town drama. And hey, there's this supernatural element that's rearing its head. And none of the adults believe that it's a supernatural thing. That's why a kid in a Stephen King story like this is so important because like kids, they have the imagination to take that leap. Like most of the time in the real world, they're just kids being kids with imaginations and they're ridiculous and that's why we defer to the adult opinions. But there have been enough Stephen King stories out there that show that in a Stephen King story like this, the kids are the ones who have the imagination enough to see the truth. Needful things, a town full of idiot adults just falling for it. Any kid would have sniffed out Leland Gaunt and Brian Rust did and Look where that got him. But that's the point, kids have that superpower of perception. I always like that Stephen King illustrates that. And as this was the movie that terrified me, this was in fact my Jaws. Not only did I see this before I saw Jaws, but it was more likely that a werewolf was going to kill me than a shark. Like Jaws was intense, but it never scared me as much as Silver Bullet. This movie is very near and dear to my heart. You're getting a peek into my soul with this video. Cause after watching Jaws, I was always like, all right, well I live in the great Northwest. I live in Washington. Also, I didn't live near the ocean. However, lived around the forest and trees, so at night when I would look into the deep, dark blackness of the woods, I'd be like, yep, werewolf territory. <laughs> I still say it's more likely that a werewolf would kill me in the Northwest than a great white shark. I just, that's real to me. I still, when I look into the woods, I get this uneasy feeling. It's probably because of this movie. Silver Bullet excels when it is being Jaws, and that is when you don't see the creature, that's when Silver Bullet's at its scariest. That's when it's at its most intense, you know? It just it has the POV camera, that shaky cam that makes it feel different than the rest of the movie. You hear the snarling of the werewolf. Really scary, intense stuff, but it's when you don't see the wolf that it's at its most intense. A couple of werewolf transformation scenes, really horrific imagery, I like those. But at the end, when the movie starts getting more brash, and it's like, okay, now you can see the wolf, it's just not as scary. You're like, ah, oh, you just look like a guy in a thin bear outfit. 
Well, that's not scary. Seeing the shark in Jaws never compromises the feeling of Jaws. Seeing the werewolf in Silver Bullet, it does compromise Silver Bullet. But I really liked revisiting Silver Bullet. As I was watching Silver Bullet this time around, I was like, yeah, this is something kids probably shouldn't watch. At least a kid in the late 80s that shouldn't watch this, I don't know. I mean, kids can go on YouTube right now and see Let's Play videos, gameplay videos of Mortal Kombat. They can go on YouTube and see any number of clips from any gruesome horror movies. I didn't have such access. Are you kidding me? So when Silver Bullet crossed my plate, I was like, I'm fundamentally changed forever. Bless my parents, they tried. They tried their best to get me not to watch things like this, but whenever they were occupied, I knew. I had the TV guide. I enjoy watching it, and even watching it this time around, I, I was really hooked by it. And it's the Stephen King town, the Stephen King-esque execution, Gary Busey and Corey Haim, that all works for me. When you don't see the werewolf, this movie's actually a great werewolf movie. It just, it ends very abruptly, you know? I don't know if the book ends this abruptly. It probably does, because it ends kind of like a book. But a movie should kind of pad the ending to give the audience time to kind of decompress from the experience. Like if you look at the book, The Martian, it ends pretty abruptly after Mark Watney is rescued. In the movie, it has that whole extra scene where he's on earth and he's giving a lecture. It just gives the audience more time to go, okay, we're breathing, we're decompressing, we're, all right, now we can go back to the world. I think Silver Bullet could have used a scene like that, but just didn't have that. Subjectively to me, I love Silver Bullet. And for a first time watch, if you've never seen it, it's fun to be like, Who's the werewolf? And I think Silver Bullet's a good time. No alcohol required. All right, so Silver Bullet, have you seen it? What did you think about it? Did you see it back in the day? Have you seen it recently? Does it hold up? Or what's your favorite werewolf story? Whatever it is, whatever you think, comment below, let me know. And as always, if you like what you've seen here and you want to see more, click right here to see more.